It's a call no family ever wants to receive. A 10-year-old girl struck and killed by a vehicle. That was the tragedy which played out right here in Waterdown near Hamilton last night. Though sadly this hour, it's the altercation between Hamilton police and two members of the media which is making headlines. The police officer said that journalists are scum. Uh, they got into a verbal altercation. The police officer tackled David to the ground, put him in handcuffs, uh, and as he was being arrested, a camera person for Global News showed up, uh, and he was then uh, almost immediately put into handcuffs. Serious questions surrounding the conduct of both media and Hamilton officers on the scene near Evans Road and Highway 5 in Waterdown, where first responders were called to around 6.45 p.m. last night after a young girl was struck by a vehicle. It's pretty crazy. This video shows a Hamilton police officer handcuffing Global News camera operator Jeremy Cohn. Freelance photographer David Ricci was also arrested at the scene. Cohn was not charged, though Ricci, who had his camera reportedly confiscated by police, was charged with obstructing justice. I turn around and I see Jeremy go flying with the cop on top of him. A third cameraman, Andrew Collins, was on scene and shot this video of the altercation. I've seen drunk drivers and people all through the night shift, drunks and people that are high and causing crashes and people involved in fatal crashes being treated better than that cop treated the media. Can you get it on my face while I'm busy right now? I can't, sorry. Last night, City News reached out to Hamilton Police for comment. They did not respond. We reached out again today to both the media officer and Chief Eric Gertz's office. An interview was not granted, but this afternoon the chief issued a brief statement reading, as chief of police, I take the arrest of any member of the media seriously. As a result, I am reviewing this incident in the context of what transpired yesterday. I would say there's a strained relationship between journalists everywhere and the police everywhere. Hamilton Spectator Editor-in-Chief Paul Burton wrote a recent editorial on how Hamilton police need to be more forthcoming when news breaks. Just weeks ago, a known mobster was shot in a drive-by shooting in a residential Hamilton neighborhood, though media, and as an extension, the public, were kept in the dark for hours. That shooting took place at about 4 in the afternoon, 4.30 maybe, and we got our first information from police, as I understand it officially, at about 10.30 at night, so uh, we didn't think that was... Uh, 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 fast enough or transparent enough. It cannot be lost that the most tragic element here is a little girl lost her life. This is a tragedy that happened. It was a horrible accident and it that is what should the public should be discussing right now. But because the police took this insane action and tackled a journalist, put him in handcuffs and charged him with an outrageous crime, now that's the story. The Canadian journalists for free expression are calling for a crown to drop the charges against David Ricci. They're also asking for an independent body to investigate. In Waterdown, I'm Adrian Gobriel, City News.